Well, hi, and welcome to Cooking with Karma. Now, I started off the week with a brownie-inspired recipe, which, by the way, of course, if you haven't seen, you know what to do. Click there and watch it. So to continue on with that theme, I thought I'd finish off the week with one of my favourite brownie recipes. Now, these are seriously for the sweet tooth, but I think you're going to like them. So let's get started, and I'll show you how to make some Rocky Road brownies. First up, we need to chop up some marshmallows. Some raspberry jellies. Turkish Delight would also go great. Into a pan on low heat, we're gonna pour in our dark chocolate and our butter, and then we're gonna simply stir that until it's well combined and melted through. Once that's melted, we're going to pour in our sugar and then we're going to stir that until it's all dissolved, which should take about three to four minutes. Once that has had time to cool, we're going to whisk up some eggs. Add that into our mix. Sift in the flour. Mix until well combined. Then we're going to add in our marshmallows, the raspberries, and the peanuts. And give it one final stir until everything is mixed well. Then we're just going to pour that straight into our tray that's lined with baking paper. Well, now we're just going to bung these into our preheated oven of 180 degrees Celsius for about 20 to 25 minutes. When you stick a skewer in that comes out clean, these babies are done. Once cooked, just simply let it cool on a rack and then you're ready to cut it into pieces. For that little something extra, dust with icing sugar. Drizzle with a little bit of cream and top with marshmallow and raspberries. With that fudgy gooey texture combined with that Rocky Road flavour, these really are a must try. Yum! Oh, these are absolutely delish. So I hope you give them a go. Now, I never in a million years would have ever thought I'd hear myself say this, but after two weeks of some serious chocolate recipes, I am chocked out. Uh -huh. I think we could all use a good dose of veggies. So next week's theme is vegetarian meals. Now before you carnivores freak out, if you can't go a meal without some meat in it, all you have to do is chuck some in there, you get a great meal too. So I've got some awesome recipes, so make sure you join me. Thanks again guys, and I'll see you next time on Cooking with Karma.